There has been quite a lot going on surrounding NCT's Hey Chan and Johnny. The shocking scandal broke many fans' hearts. But specifically, Hei Chan is in the most trouble, as he was involved in another scandal for allegedly dating the controversial Han So Hee. On June 2nd, a post titled Look at Hei Chan and Han So Hee went viral. In the post, a netizen uploaded a photo of Hei Chan's dog, which Han So Hee uploaded to her own Instagram story. The post's author then uploaded another story in which Han So Hee uploaded a photo of a conversation with someone alleged to be Hei Chan. Hey Chan, ah, I don't like Eugene. So he, all right, we don't need her. I just thought I would ask. I'll get it from Naver. Then hit me up tomorrow when you get back to your dorm. HC, okay, will you come this time, Nuna? So he, of course, lol. Nuna is going to come in a jiffy. HC, go back in a jiffy. Netizens reacted to the comments, with many accusing Han So Hee of trying to get attention. Many fans of Hei Chan denied that the two were together and claimed that the photo of Hei Chan and his dog was from long time ago. His dog is way bigger than that now. She's trying to get attention by using an old picture. They are two peas in a pod. Such a turn off. His parents are raising his dog and Hei Chan doesn't live in the dorm. I think she is shooting her shot at Hei Chan and revealing it publicly. Didn't she say that she was going to Una live Hei Chan? LOL, what is wrong with her? Han So Hee is known for making controversial statements and has lied many times, so this scandal can be easily put to rest as long as nothing else comes out. So now about Wild Night in Japan. NCT's Hei Chan and Johnny have been accused of allegedly sleeping with three Japanese women, two of whom are reportedly fans of other NCT members. The controversy began when an account named at Kira CEO Main posted a series of photos and provocative tweets claiming that NCT members were spotted at a hotel in Tokyo and sleeping with fans. The account belongs to a prominent figure in the Japanese nightlife industry, who facilitates connections for women seeking work in host bars with top-tier clients. In the tweet, this individual explicitly named Johnny and Hei Chan, claiming the two engaged in a five-person encounter with three Japanese women, who were described as actresses and bar hostesses. The tweets were quickly removed. Although the initial tweet was removed, the Twitter accounts at Roses123 and at LV999V saved the photos and reposted them. The at LV999V user also posted photos allegedly taken from the women's social media account showing a hotel room key of the Capital Hotel Tokyo, which is the same hotel that Hei Chan was seen in during one of his past Weverse live streams. A photo was also posted showing five individuals, allegedly Hei Chan, Johnny, and the three women, standing outside of the Capital Hotel Tokyo. After the tweets went public, netizens discovered the social media accounts of two of the women involved. Based on their posts, it appears these women are NCT fans, as they were seen posing with posters of NCT members and holding photo cards of the group. One of the women also posted an alleged Kako Talk conversation with Johnny. Female, Appa. It was fun today. Let's drink again. Johnny, lol. Okay. Contact me. Female, when will you come to Japan again? Johnny, 38 female, oh oh. Let's meet again then. As mentioned in the text message, Johnny returned to Japan on March 8th for an official NCT 127 schedule, which included a concert on March 9th. The accusations have gone viral instantly, with many other retweets amassing millions of views. The initial account that reposted the allegations, at LV999V, has also been taken down following multiple reports from fans. After deleting the tweets, the nightlife promoter tweeted, I received requests from the person involved and those around them to delete the tweets, so I deleted the two tweets about certain actresses and a Korean idol. Some international fans don't see any problem, while others do. All consenting adults, they grown men right? Okay, what's the problem? The problem is their idols paying women for s, and not just any women, but supposed NCT fans. Idols have to maintain good image in Korea and if this turns out to be true, then it won't look good. Netizens then came together to translate social media posts by the women allegedly involved in the encounter. One image featuring a hotel keycard and three women's hands states, ah, I think I might die. Save me lol. Johnny and Hei Chan put their D in me. According to the girls, they did not know who they would be serving that night until they reached the room. 
It was claimed that the boys had called the girls over through a Tico service act. Tico in Japan is a service where men can pay for girls to come over for drinks and s favors. It turned out to be Johnny and Hei Chan lol. Imma Dai. They put their D in. They also saw Seisang fans waiting outside the hotel and used the chance to mock them. Love to see it. I'm really sorry, but while you guys were waiting there, I had Johnny and Hei Chan stick their D in me. Sorry. One of the identified girls in the controversy, who goes by the name Myo, was especially active in meeting with celebrities. It is said that she currently studies in Korea. She posted a photo claiming only Yungwoo came. This was right after she posted a screenshot of a conversation with a friend who wanted to invite her to a gathering. They used NCT to entice her to come. Friend, apparently NCT is coming today. Can you come? All of them will come. Mio, is it confirmed? Friend, yeah, it is. Despite the controversy she caused, it is said that she is still friendly with the members. On the other hand, Rio, one of the other girls involved, is said to have met other idol groups apart from NCT as well. It was alleged that she slept with Mark from their first meeting at a club, and it was only after that that she became a fan. She also claimed to have swallowed Johnny's S and have exclusive photos of Mark, as well as proof shots of Tail. What's more, is that Rio claims to have footage that would end them if leaked. On the other hand, it was also clarified by the girls that the papers seen on the coffee table were not drugs as previously suspected, but materials for a drinking game. It was also said that NCT's manager had aided all of this, even giving them the hotel key on behalf of the boys. The girls also claimed that while the first meeting was through hire, subsequent meetings were unpaid and by their own will. The girls also listed a few trivial details, such as the members allegedly teaching them drinking games, ordering delivery food for them, and letting them ride in the company cars. Rumors spread on various social media platforms suggesting that Kim Heechul had enjoyed nightlife activities in Japan with junior idol members from SM Entertainment. A fan on the communication platform Bubble then asked Kim Heechul, Heechul, what on earth did you do in Japan? In response, Kim Heechul said, I have also seen the rumors. I'm discussing it with the company to prevent any accidents on Instagram. To prevent you from worrying or feeling disappointed, I'll briefly explain here. I have never once eaten or drunk outside with our company's junior artists, nor have I met them separately. I don't even have their contact information. As I mentioned before, NCT's Yungwoo was also mentioned by one of the women involved. In a selfie image, she claimed that only Yungwoo came. Due to the timing of these secondary rumors, NCT's Jungwoo's involvement was linked to Heechul by many netizens. Netizens continued to investigate and found that the photos were likely taken on or around June 23rd, based on a post made by one of Heechul's friends, celebrating a birthday. The friend whose face is fully visible is also in this image, wearing what appears to be the same outfit. Based on the date the image was shared, netizens used Jungwoo's schedule to clear him of this allegation. On July 23, 2023, Yungwoo was spotted at Incheon Airport headed to the Philippines for NCT DJ Young's fan concert in Manila, which took place the following day. Many have taken this as an indication that Yungwoo was not involved as it was impossible for him to be in two places at once. The unconfirmed accusations have since gone viral and even made national news through KBS. SM was quiet for a while so it made people speculate even more. The issue has only escalated further, making headlines in South Korea. The situation was even mentioned on national television, with KBS News reporting on the rumors as part of a conversation on SM Entertainment stock. They discussed the recent sharp decline in SM Entertainment stock, which plummeted by 8%, and suggested that these unconfirmed rumors regarding the company's boy group might be a contributing factor. Then SM came out with their statement denying the accusations. Hello, this is SM Entertainment. Currently, rumors surrounding Johnny and Hei Chan's involvement with prostitution, drugs, and other indecent content are being reproduced and spread online. After verifying the facts, these allegations are not true at all, and, these rumors, are criminal acts that seriously defame our artists. In addition, malicious rumors and slander continue to be spread about NCT and our other artists, including Heechul. We have already collected sufficient evidence regarding the posts in question and we will not sit and do nothing. We will ensure the perpetrators spreading this information will be punished with no leniency or settlement, regardless of their nationality. 
please be aware that any act of posting malicious content could be subject to punishment. Thank you. After the statement was issued on the night of June 4, 2024, one of the girls who were involved in the scandal, Rio, held an Instagram live stream where she spoke up about the accusations. Did you really do a five-way? Since there are many fans of Korean idols, tuning in, yeah, the comments are all in Korean. This is the first time I'm getting so many Korean comments. Not all of it are untrue. A portion of it is true. As for which part is true and which part is a lie, I want to tell you guys that you guys can figure it out for yourself, but since the company is denying it, well, you guys can just believe them then. Does Johnny speak English or Korean during intercourse? LOL. You're the worst, LOL. I want to deny drugs and prostitution. You guys are not the only ones making up things. Well, I know that, but don't you think that we know more than you? So, so what? LOL. You've shown us enough of your bust, so show us the bottom too, I only want to show it to Korean idols. We didn't receive money from them. No get money. Due to this scandal, now NCT fans are very worried for Johnny and Hae Chan. June 4, 2024, fans send tracks to the agency in protest with messages like Improve the protection of your artists. Lawsuits without any mediation. Quick and accurate statements. SM, who neglected the malicious comments targeted at NCT for years, is an even bigger perpetrator. Sue them without any mediation and put out statements. The malicious rumors targeted at NCT is getting more severe, but Kwamya 119 is so useless. When are you going to protect your artists? We don't need copy and paste statements. We want to know the detailed status updates. Following the trucks, netizens have praised fans for their concise statements. Their wording is so clean. Waiting for the follow-up statement. What about the pics? I'm sick of it. There's no photos but people keep commenting that with each post. The size of the truck is so unique. Seems like people would believe it if I posted a pic of food and said I ate with NCT. Why are you guys giving up your brains to hate on celebrities? I hope SM gets it together and sues them. I'm not a fan but it was really severe yesterday. Their statement came so late and IDC about the evidence but it was even reported on the news. There are people who can release a statement saying it's false and that they'll deal with it strongly in 10 seconds but didn't they drag it out for a day? I have no idea how things are going to turn out, but it does seem suspicious that those girls are so outspoken and making outrageous accusations. But from what I could gather, it seems that there are quite a lot of people who don't believe in these rumors and want safety for NCT. What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching, and see you next time.